Hello everybody, welcome to my work channel. My name is Michael Mark. Today bring you guys by Sister Gab Suli. She is 38 years old. And she has three kids. And the one 10 years old. And the other one 4 years old. And the other one is 8 years old. She make a living as recycle pick up and sell it for her living and this is the second video so for what and for tech keep searching for her for about a few weeks because they met her along the street and she had two children and ride on the back of her cart she got the old motorcycle for her job to pick up recycle and collect it all and sell it make for a living and she live in the Kandal province and the village is Jab Yum and right now Puwat and Putak found her is Pum Jab Yum and they talk about uh, how hard they're working to finding her but right now it finally they're so successful to asking people around and found her here she live here it's not her land it's somebody else's land but they feel so much compassion and sadness about her life and her husband because they are so poor and generation to generation, it probably like to follow their life. And this how she only pay ten dollars a month because the owner or the landlord, they just thinking they cannot afford anything because they only earn about twenty to twenty five thousand real. Four thousand real is one dollar, and ten thousand real is two fifty. It's hard to earn it. You can see all the kids. See, they have all kind of the kid to feeding them, and this is her house area because mostly the poor people in Cambodia living in the flood area. The environment it wasn't clean either. This all her recycle because the uh, only way she can make a living it is so poor it no job available and Puwat and Putak got some donation by brother Koi and they live at California to bring her some she need the card uh, get a better life and a better load for her recycle but right now she got a donation from people overseas to tag and to what bring some donation from brother Coy live at California $40 to help her a little bit it's not a lot for here, but a lot in Cambodia because they only earn 250 or 150 a day. It's hard for their lives, and in Cambodia, it's not many jobs available. But right now, according to uh, the disease spread all over the world, so every company is closed, especially the factory. It mostly close and then they lost their job. If you see this video, if you would like to help, please share the video and the other people can see it probably they feel more compassion or sadness and understanding about how poor it is in Cambodia and want to help them out and they can donate and they can contact me by the phone 
636-3734 and then we will get it from there. Putak and Puwat and I, we work as a team. They live in Cambodia, these two guys, and then I live in the U.S. My previous life is the refugee. I used to be having a hard time and no food, no clothes, no anything around. And then if I go to pick up something, it, I have to use my shoulder like the firewood or carry the water. I remember all of this, that's why I look into uh, the people who have the poverty lies and have no chance to change their life and then I just have my team and create this team to help them out. It probably is not a whole lot but uh, at least I have in life, I'm still living, it do something good to helping them. The life changing from poverty to be better life is very, very hard. They have to work hard. You see, like Sister Gap, so Lee, she is 38, and she working hard every day, uh, want to change her life and get better income to raise her kid, and then can send the kid go to school and have good education to break through all this poverty life in uh, the next generation. But it isn't easy how hard to try, but it's still the same day by day, week by week, year by year. I hope the help can help her to start up the new life and get a better income to help her kid. You can see how they sleep and all they kid is so poor. I feel really heartbreaking because there's no hope in the future. This is to the end of the story, uh, Sister So Lee, she is 38 with three kids and her husband works as security but it doesn't earn much money either. If you would like to support, please subscribe and click notification bell to receive new video every time I upload to my YouTube. And thank you very much for your watching and we'll see you guys on the next video. Stay tuned.